Hey, 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 guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with another episode of Fishing Sim World. And we are here at the Gillum's Fishing Resorts to try out some of the new lures uh, that came with the Trophy Hunters pack, and the Big Fish Lure pack, and the Tackle Box pack. These are all DLCs that can be downloaded for the Fishing Sim World Pro. And come in very very useful for a number of things so we're gonna come in here and see what we can get with this I'll, I managed to catch quite a few things here just testing it out and some of them were pretty darn big but we're gonna check this out guys let me go ahead I think I'm gonna try over here at this particular location Alright, this is where I did last time and brought in a really massive fish. Now, we're going to have to go ahead and claim a peg on this one. Now, we're going to be doing a little bit of bottom fishing and a little bit of casting as well. So, let's see. I'm trying to remember what all I have on here. Yes, this is my exotic mix. I've got, uh, let's see... Well, no, that's not what I wanted. There we go. I got my tracker propel rod here. Uh, basically, I'm using uh, boilies on a braided hair rig. This is for smaller things. I've got a dark matter rig here, uh, size 2. I think this one I'm going to change over in a minute, though. Uh, 40 pound test. This one's also 40 pound test. This is my casting. Well, it's going to be my casting reel. I thought I'd change this, but it looks like I've got pop up tiger nuts on this one. But let me go ahead and fix this here. And I thought I already had that done. Alright, I got that fixed where it should be at this point. I've got two bottom rods that I'm going to be using, and I'll be fishing on top with this one using the Booyah Buzz Lime Truce and the enigma, the enigma phantom edition now i believe the booyah buzz is from the tackle box so we're going to check that out with that and then we might go to one of the uh, big lures just to see what we can do with that so let's go ahead and get this set out i'm gonna grab the second rod and get it cast out there i believe this has the macro heads i think yeah it does and i'm just gonna toss it right out there these guys can literally be anywhere, but the big trick is I need to get it over silt, like right there. I think, let's see, I'm going to throw this one over here. Now, last time I caught a pretty good one on this side. Ah, heck. Well, that'll work. That'll work. I don't think it's really that much of a difference where it is. Alright, we're going to try this Booyah Buzz first. And I'm going to cast this over this direction. Ooh, nice cast. Well, looks like we already got one on three. Yep, it didn't take long. Uh, I will say the bottom fishing here is usually better than the lower fishing. Ah, I got one on two. So, because of that, I might be forced to just go ahead and fish lure only for a little while. I think I've got a really big one here, guys. Okay, this is where things get tricky. You've really got to learn how to play this drag. But I think I've got an, an Arapaima here. No, no, not an Arapaima. Prob probably a black Paku. Let's see here. See, at first I looked like I saw something much longer, but it's not. Short and stocky. Let's 
Doesn't matter. These guys are big too, and it's going to take a while to get him in. If it goes too long on that other one, it'll he'll just get off. All right, guys, he's getting closer. Looks like we lost the other one, unfortunately. But yep, I'm pretty sure it's a Paku. Yep. Oh no, no, it's not. I was sure it was. It's a Siamese carp. And I've reached level 37. Look at all the points you get for that guy. 97 pounds, 14 ounces. <laughs> That's a big fish. Go ahead and get a picture of him. It's not the first one of those I've caught, but... Yeah, we lost number two anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and grab it. And reel in... <coughs> Actually, all I have to do is hit that and get it back. So let's put that down. Let's grab this first rod and see if we can't get something off the lure. Now we need to take the speed down on this. I usually do it at about a 2. Seems to really get their attention. I wish I could get a little more distance out of this. But the Arapaima go for it. The Black Paku go for it. I don't think the si Siamese Carp do. might be a good idea to just kind of look for splashing. It seems to be a little more effective if there's a, some activity. Okay, I'm not seeing a lot of activity, honestly. It's been pretty quiet. Hmm. Let's try throwing it up close to the bank. Hmm. Well, of course, right now, they're not going to bite. Let's see here. Let's check the map here. Now right now we're over here. Might relocate here. Guys. Might relocate here, guys. I think I might come down here just to see. Well, I don't care about that. Kind of interesting to see what's over here. I don't think I've fished over here before. Hmm. There might be something close to. Wait a minute. I just saw some splashing. Shoot. Dang on it. That's just going to go crazy. There we go. What we want to see is activity. There we go. Took him a little while. There's another one over there to the left. I just saw him. I 
think this is another Siamese carp. Can't really tell just yet. So now we're seeing all kinds of activity. <laughs> That's the way it always goes. Well, it is definitely a Siamese carp. Another one over there. Saw another fin come up. Might even get to level thirty eight. Put the pressure on him here, guys. Giving up the fight. Whew. See him dart off real quick. There, we got him. We got him. No. No, it's not a... It's not a carp. It's a black paku. Very good. Let's see. He is 38 pounds, 10 ounces. Not bad. Big old thick fella there. Yeah, I think what we might do... See if we can't change our lure here. I want to show you some of these new lures here. We've got a whole slew of different poppers that come automatically with that DLC. We've got some huge lures here. This one's 16 inches. The, the Bait Shack, Big Dogs, Perch, and Silver. And we got these... I believe, let's see, I'm trying to find the... Yeah, that's one I've got selected. The Jointed Wally Chromes. Got it in blue, gold, and black. Not sure what we'll go for those. Here's some more poppers. The Cotton Cordell Pencil Poppers. There's three different kinds. The Suspending Wally Diver Blue Tigers. Face Clowns and Yellow Browns. There's these Grape Soda Tails gotten some fish off of that. Here's some uh, Sledgehammer Swim sh Fake Shads. No, I didn't mean to select it, actually. <laughs> There's a lot to choose from here. The Chili Bowl, Sexy Shed Chartreuse. These are Smithwick Perfect 10 Rogue Floyd. A lot of these are for bass and walleye. I mean, we'll give it a try. I think I'm going to try one of these guys. Just see. If nothing goes for it, we can always go back to anything we've used before that's worked. Right now, of course, I'm not seeing any activity. <laughs> well, let's try casting over this way again. Ooh. Very good, very good. This is a f 
crankbait style looks like. Okay, not getting anything off of that. Like I said, I don't know. I'm really wanting to try one of these big dogs. I'm going to try the silver. I bet you I get a heck of a cast out of this, too. Ah, dang on it. Well, that's, that works. <laughs> Actually didn't do too bad. It seems like since there's such massive fish here, especially the Arapaymas, they might just go for that. No, it's been pretty quiet though. I think I might walk down a little bit further. Yeah, you can walk anywhere along here and fish. Okay. Now we're more to the open water here. Might as well cast it out, see what it does. If anything. Guys, this is getting hard to find one that they like. You're going to go through this. It's definitely worth trying a bunch of different things. Let's see, bait checks, bass trout, and salmon. We know the booyah buzz attracts them. seems a little small. Um, we could try that. Seems like it would stand out. I might go ahead and clean this peg though just to see what fish are around in this area. got those set out now let's see if we can do anything with this guy really just not seeing a whole lot of splashing okay there's something moving around under the water there if we don't get anything I think we'll switch back over to the booyah buzz because I know that worked oh heck it's going a little too fast there we go Aha! We found one. We found one, guys. Yep, 
Yeah, I just got this big lure pack, so some of these... I haven't tested many of these lures yet. So, we're kind of testing them out together here. And it looks like this one did very well getting something's attention. Can't really tell what it is yet. I think this is... Oh my goodness, I think it's one of those catfish. Red-tailed catfish. I wouldn't have thought they'd go for this. Well, that's cool as hell. Yep, it sure is. Come on in here, big guy. Oh. You're just playing with me, aren't you? Damn, I guess he didn't know he was caught originally. <laughs> He's definitely giving me a fight now. Catfish will do that though. A lot of times they won't know. Once they realize, then they start really pulling hard. There we go. We got him. There you go, guys. Now that is a catfish. Red-tailed catfish, 60 pounds, 3 ounces. Length, 43.22 inches. Like I said, that is a fish. Hmm. Get a picture of him, too. Well... Here's the lure, guys. Let me go ahead and show you again. This is the Cotton Cordell Suspending Wally Diver Fire Face Clown. And it, apparently the red-tailed catfish go for that. Really cool to know. Really cool to know. Alright, we're going to see if we can find another one here. Because I want to give this thing a shot. A fair shake in every area. Let's see. That was what we just got it on. I would imagine these would do alright as well. Um, I don't know about these swim sheds or these chili bowls. Let's try this. Since it's cloudy, I'm trying to stick with th things that kind of stand out a little bit. Because of the low light. It's just a little gloomy. I don't know if it's because it's early morning or what it is, but... I'm trying to see if I see any activity out there. Aha, there's some. And that does make a difference. That's the truth. It's just... This could be just strictly for bass, too, but... I would have thought that by that other lure, and it caught a catfish, so... I'll tell you what really bothers you is when you're reeling it in and right behind it is a fish. <laughs> you're like, damn it. Why couldn't you keep up with it, bud? Okay, this one definitely sinks, so... I'm getting a lot of splashing, but not getting any bites off of that. So we are going to go back and try something different. I mean, honestly, it looked like it would be something they would go for, but... You just don't always know. We know it didn't go for the Smithwicks. 
Let's see here. Anything else unusual here that... Banded racket, chartreuse, black, that might be one. Or this driving crankbait. Let's try that. Diving crankbait, alright. See if he's really serious this time. I think he is. It's number two, it has to be. I can't remember if this was the mackerel or the. I think it is. Son of a gun. That little... F Did you see that fish? It was red. It looked like a goldfish or something. <laughs> or koi or something. I don't know. But he grabbed that... He grabbed it. Tells me this is gonna take me a while to get him in. He is. I don't think on this lake you can get spooled, though. I'm pretty sure you can't because it's really, honestly, not big enough. Of course, they can keep you busy for quite a while. I think it's a Siamese carp. Can't. He doesn't look thick enough to be a Paku. Just by sheer strength, that's one of the reason why I'm thinking it's a Siamese carp. They are strong as hell. like a catfish though when I went by but I didn't see he kind of looked like a catfish when he went by but I didn't see the red fins no that's a catfish okay I see the red on him now he just doesn't have particularly yeah he's just got kind of pale pale fins personal best Level 38, guys. Red tailed catfish. 82 pounds, 14 ounces. That is a big fish. Alright, guys. I hope you enjoyed that episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And we will be back with another episode of Fishing Sim World Pro. So till then guys, as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun, and I will see you later.